the Discovery Lab teacher here at Lakewood and Mr. Maddock and I have been working in the gym showing the kiddos a model of how the solar system works with the Sun, Earth and Moon and then also what will occur during the, the total solar eclipse this afternoon. As the kiddos have been coming to the Discovery Lab we've just been kind of doing a crash course with how the solar system works and how that the solar eclipse is just actually just a shadow of the moon blocking the sun's light and casting a shadow on Earth and they've seemed to enjoy it and we're really excited for this afternoon. What's happening this afternoon? The solar eclipse. The solar, solar eclipse. eclipse. Somebody went, the solar eclipse. Okay? Solar now, eclipse. if you got to come to me, I know Easton's class and Miss Stevenson's class, I don't think has been to me for Ms. my about the solar eclipse, but Miss Thomas's class has. So you guys should be able to teach Miss Stevenson's class some things, okay? Tell me about the sun. The does sun the sun move? The oh, oh, listen. Does the sun move in our solar system? No. no. What moves? The, the earth. earth. Good. Olivia, can you be our sun? And these right here, here in a second, you're each going to get to be a, a, a sun. So Olivia right now is our sun. This is Earth. Can you all tell Miss Stevenson's class the three ways that we learned the other day that Earth moves? Yeah. That what, way, that way, that way, what's that one way. way that it moves? That, that oh, way. thank you for raising your hand. Yes, ma'am. Um, whenever you put some glass in the... Well, hang on. That doesn't have anything to do with how the Earth moves. We're talking, you're talking about the glasses for this afternoon. But how does the Earth move? Remember we talked the other day. What does it do? It moves slowly. How? Because the sun's behind. Does it move in a square? No. How does it move? In a circle. In a circle where? Around the sun. Very good. Let's so Miss Tom Stevenson's class, you will have missed me yet. It moves around the sun. It's called orbiting. It orbits the sun. What else does it do? What am I doing right now? I'm spinning. Okay, so it also spins, okay, it, it revolves on its axis. Do you know how long, does anybody remember we talked about this the other day, how long does it take for the, for the earth to spin one time? Do you remember? Do you remember? A month. Not a month. A year. A long time. Remember we talked about when you get up in the morning, it looks like the sun is coming from where? The, wall, the ground. The ground. But is the sun what's moving? No. no. No, we are. Okay, so the sun looks like it's coming up out of the ground, and then at night it looks like it's doing what? Moving. Going back down. down in the ground. That's because of the earth spinning. It takes one day, 24 hours for it to spin. And then it takes one year for it to orbit, in other words, go all the way around the sun. Now, Mr. Maddox is going to be the moon, okay? Remember, the earth also tilts. That causes the seasons. We talked about that the other day. So, this afternoon, the big things that are important with the solar eclipse are the sun, the earth, and the moon. So, Mr. Maddox is the moon. Does anybody remember what the moon does? It orbits it, uh, around the earth. Very good. It orbits around the earth. Okay? So this afternoon, the solar eclipse, I'm going to have to Mr. Maddox stop for just a second. I'm going to get in line with him. Now this afternoon, the sun and the moon, the earth and the moon, they're not going to stop. Okay? They're still moving. But as they're moving, the moon is going to get in perfect line in its orbit and with earth, how it is spinning and orbiting with the earth to block the sun's light. We went outside the other day with Miss Thomas's class. Do you remember this? And we were facing the sun. When I had you turn around, what did you see behind you on the ground? Your shadow. So the, the eclipse, guys, it's actually just a what on Earth? A shadow. A shadow of the moon. Exactly. It's just a giant shadow of the moon. Okay? So here's what we're going to try. 
We're gonna have some of you all be the sun. So we're, the, the balls around here are the sun. I'm gonna tell each of you to go to a sun. Some of you are going to be the earth. You're gonna get a basketball. Some of you are going to get a, a styrofoam ball for Miss Olivia. That is going to be the moon. We're going to see if you can move around the sun as the earth and the moon move around the sun. Then when I say eclipse, we're going to kind of push pause. Like on your TV, if you've ever watched a cartoon, sometimes you can push the pause. That's not really what's going to happen this afternoon. Nobody's going to pause the sun and the earth and the moon. But that's what we're going to pretend like in here. We're going to pause for a minute and try to get your moon in line with the sun and the earth in between. Okay? Yeah. So, I think I'm going to have two of you for each sun. Because the sun's kind of big, you're going to work together to just hold it. It doesn't have to be up in the air. But if I tell you to go to a sun, I just want you to sit at the sun right now. When I tell you to orbit the sun, I want you all to stand up and just hold the sun in between you. And then the basketball is the earth. You're going to walk in a big circle around the sun. You could spin if you're not going to get dizzy, but Miss Pike gets too dizzy. And then the moon is going to walk around. So stand up here. I want you all to be an example. You're going to walk on the black line. He's walking in a circle. This is He's orbiting the sun. And if you wanted to spin, you could, but you might get dizzy. So you can just kind of try to spin the basketball as Earth spins. And then come here. Our moon is just going to walk around, orbit the Earth the entire time. So you got to walk. If you're the Earth, you've got to walk super slow. So she, the moon, can walk around Earth. You have to keep walking. Keep walking around, all the way around. Does everybody see this? Keep walking around. Slow down so she can go around. Orbit. All the way around, baby. Just keep walking in a circle around. Does everybody see that? Does everybody see this? Okay. Let's see if everyone else can orbit. I think they did awesome. I think they're ready to go and see the eclipse and hopefully notice that there's a shadow today. It should be pretty dark for a little bit today. I'm Chrissy Skaggs, the library media specialist here at Lakewood, and today for our eclipse day we're having all kinds of things going on in the library. Right now these students are doing a QR code scavenger hunt and they're finding some really cool facts about the eclipse and just working as teams and learning lots of new things. Earlier our kindergarten, first grade and second grade, they did some Dr. Seuss activities with the eclipse in the library as well. So you're going to take your QR code reader and you're going to scan it. Scan, scan, scan. And it might give you something prompt and you say okay and it's going to give you the answer to your question. So then as a team, you guys are going to read that answer, and then you're going to kind of shorten it. You're going to find the question on your paper, shorten your answer, and write it down. 
Okay, you guys think you, any questions? Okay, good luck and you can start scavenger hunting. No. Which one is it? This one? Jennifer Wilcox, I'm the reading interventionist here at Lakewood Elementary. And what we did for today, I read um, kindergarten, first, second graders. Um, there's no place like space. It's a cat in the hat book. They enjoyed that. And then we had a follow-up activity with that as well. You think they're really excited about today? I do think so. They were very um, interested in space and just all the details for everything today, yes. Hello, I'm Shelly Kerr, school counselor at Lakewood Elementary. Thank you for joining, joining us today here at Lakewood Elementary. A great experience for all the kids, once in a lifetime chance. Thank you.